And he went after him for it. And again, context father to son, you can't help with the father saying to the son, hey, make sure you don't steal from me. <laughs> Verse 25, he was of a proud heart, stirs up strife, but he who trusts the Lord will be prospered. Obviously, pride always brings about strife, doesn't it? Pride just rubs people wrong, causes problems, contentions. But he who trusts the Lord will be prospered. That speaks of humility. Humility brings prosperity, not pride. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool. But whoever walks wisely will be delivered. Listen to this one, gang. He who trusts in his own heart is a fool. I just, I just wanted to follow my heart. I met him on the internet. We had three conversations together. I just had to follow my heart. <laughs> Crazy. Don't do it. Don't follow your heart. It's a terrible idea. If I had followed my heart, I would have been married 50 times before I left high school. And I've been, and I've been divorced 50 times, you see. My wife is going to be like, tell me who those 50 girls are. Right now. <laughs> But whoever walks wisely will be delivered. Listen, young people, you need wisdom. Especially if you're going to navigate the romantic waters of life. You need God's wisdom. Don't follow your heart, is what the Father says on this one. In fact, if you dare to tattoo that on your arm, I'll pay for it. How's that sound? Any young person wants to tattoo this verse on their own, I will pay for it personally. Any takers? <laughs> really? Okay. <clears throat> verse 27. He who gives to the poor will not lack, but he who hides his eyes will have many curses. He who gives to the poor will not lack. And here's the truth. And I'm, I'm, I've been guilty of it myself. Where I've seen somebody in need and say, well, you know, I've only got five bucks. If I give it to them, then I've got Nothing. But to have that attitude is to actually call God a liar. He who gives to the poor, what? Will not lack. There's a great insurance policy. Learn to give to the poor. You don't need crop insurance. Just give to the poor. You will not lack. Don't tell me you can't afford to give to the poor. You can. God says it. If God says it, said Corey Ten Boom, I believe it, that settles it. Thank you. I just don't know if anybody knew Corey Ted Boom was or anything. You know, I'm getting older now, so. <clears throat> There's so many opportunities out there, gang, to give to the poor. There's even some poor people here in the neighborhood that we take care of. It's a great opportunity. Be faithful with the opportunities because here's the thing about God. He never loses an opportunity. He just gives it to somebody else. And you've lost your opportunity. Verse 28 when the wicked arise, men hide themselves, but when they perish, the righteous increase. Very similar to verse 2. Wickedness promotes wickedness and the fear of it. But when wickedness is removed, righteousness again increases. I pray over the next 12 months that you vote righteousness. Not your pocketbook. Not political promises. Seek after the righteous things in your own life. Seek after the Lord and pray for our land. Amen? Amen? Because, listen, even in the days of, well, Manasseh, the most evil of kings in the southern kingdom, or probably of any king of Israel, when he repented, judgment was stayed. And that's the hope that I have. I, I have no hope that we would, when our, as a country we won't be judged. But I have this hope that God's judgment will be delayed for the sake of a repentant nation. Amen? Amen. And Father, thank you. For your, just for your, your, uh, your wisdom, Father. For your heart behind it. 